at this moment, someone might be a little bit upset that the robot is, ta is taking my job. But in 10 years later, then he reflects the old days that how could we do that kind of dirty job and simple job by man? As a robotics engineer, no en robotist make killer robot. No robotist makes uh, the robot who is taking take over the human's uh, uh, their job. The, what we make the robot is for replacing dirty jobs, difficult jobs, and dangerous jobs. Uh, this uh, robot is designed for uh, deal with. Uh, um, radiation contaminated uh, area. In that case, uh, the destruction is not very heavy, but man cannot get in. Then the robot should uh, drive, approach by driving, and he has to get out from the vehicle, and he has to open the door and get into uh, the scene, and he has to remove the debris sometimes, and he may close the valve, and he may big hole through the wall if it is blocked, and he has to climb up the stairs. Hubo is a humanoid robot. Humanoid robot is general purpose robot. Uh, so a target, a task target is not specified because uh, this human-like is a human-like like dexterity. So it can drive sometimes, it can pick something. Uh, so it does deviate from the drones or specific robots. And secondly, uh, he does not have any high level of intelligence yet. So he takes the order instruction from the operator. And what he do is that he perform his uh, instruction. So for example, so open this door, then he he will open that door, he will go this way and he will go this way. And he asks uh, to pick some objects and he will do that one. So when he get, rid, get out from the vehicle, he just rely on the law of physics, very passive, very passive way and dynamic way. Uh, that is very unique feature of a human robot and another one is multimodal mobility. Sometimes it works by two legs, sometimes transform to kneel position, the rolling. Uh, that kind of multimodal robust uh, mobility make uh, the, the whole robot mobility very robust.